Hi. I'm at the blood bank. You can in the toilets. <laughs> Last time I did this was just after the 13th of June, 2022. It was on the 13th of June, I think. I had a bad toothache. But that morning, I posted the videos, what would you do in your last 56 minutes it was, until 5.55 a.m. If you thought that the Lord was coming and you got an hour's heads up, you can have a look at it. I got struck by lightning that night. There were 2,200 lightning strikes in that 24 hour period in Kamara. <clears throat> the whole car had been lit up blue. And one of the things that I still haven't found the answer to is why my hands. Now I know what it's like to raise my hands and wait and be in the presence of the glory and my hands buzz. And I know the difference between my inner man, spiritual man, and those senses that you have in the heavenlies and feeling the buzz, the pins and needles, the presence, the force, the kabod or whatever of the Lord. But this is a physical buzzing in my hands and arms. And even lately I've been talking to the Lord about feeling it in my feet. It's in my natural physical body. There's no accidents or mistakes that I saw in a dream. The power pole, the one that the Lord reminded me of when I was saved, and lightning coming from it, and then water had just came up, come up, Rick Joyner had come into my caravan and wiped the blackboard clean. I'd gone out, the water was coming up, the lightning struck. And I laid, and I know it's like in the spirit, think Toronto blessing. Oh, in my belly. I felt it then. It was a ball of blue. And I've studied the colour. It's electric blue. That happened. Then I have authority. And I told everybody who was in the boat, Fairy, cross the mercy, to get in the ark, that they weren't taking pillows. <clears throat> Ask Claire about the pillows. It's in his eye, woe to you. Laughing up the pillows, the bugs. The insect grass, the hive mind, the pillars, the locusts, the Bluetooth line that your down angel is attached to and your up angel. Oh, she got a bashay to a star, he says. Well, I saw a star. The Lord said to me, I had to sleep out at night when I left to go up the mountain. I went hiking, I couldn't find the hut. I slept out, it was a cool night, beautiful night, cool, cool night, yet it had been snowing days before, in the middle of winter, it was the end of May, beginning of June, 2018. So when the God storm hit on the 13th of June last year, that's what I did with my last hour. I listened to the Lord. And I looked at my red school box that I started writing in and I realised that the night before, on the 12th of June, the Lord had said, you're going to get up in the morning and write. And I said, what in? He said, your school box. And I have a shelf full of them. I've been writing in pen and ink. And I don't write as much for the last two years because the Lord wrapped this thing up. <laughs> but that's what I did in that last hour. I looked in the book and I looked at number one 
first book when he'd said I would write, and it was dated the 13th of June, 2018. And last year was the 13th of June, 2022. And we've just had the 13th of June, 2023. So it's exactly five years now. Last year was four years since the Lord called me a scribe. And then I realised I'd bought a book, a Bible, and it's the message version. Probably the version that changed the least of all your versions. It was the message. And it was a scribe Bible. And there was an example on the back. And it's John the Baptist. Repent. About his conception. About the promise to his father, their high priest, that he would be. In the spirit of Elijah. And who did the Lord Jesus Christ say? Was the greatest of all the prophets? John the Baptist. Hi, she got a bull shot. Yeah. John the Baptist. The greatest of all. We must think. We must seek the Lord on why that is. He's made a way. He's making a way. So there's always repentance. Godly repentance and godly sorrow. So I'm in the blood bank. The last time I videoed like this, like I said, was the 13th of June and I was in the dentist. And I saw the human skeleton which reminded me of the teacher who keeps giving rapture dates. All based on the Jewish feasts. Well, Israel, I sought the Lord on, is who he says they are. Do, do you hear that? Israel is who I say they are. Right, we better get out of the toilet. Someone's here. I'm going to do part two, tell you about the blood bank.